So uh, this is Naomi talking. I'm James's significant other. <laughs> Uh, but I've never really used Vox Commando uh, to create commands, etc. I've only occasionally used commands that James has already uh, created. He's really customized our house already. So as long as I know the commands, I'm good. So what we're doing today is James is going to teach me how to actually use Vox Commando like a real bona fide user. Uh, so this is, I've just downloaded the latest 1.1 1 .1, uh, and, uh, and we're going to start right from scratch. To be fair, you are a little bit familiar with the program. Right, I'm not a complete noob. You just, by osmosis, obviously being with James in the household, you pick up a few things. But really, honestly, I've, I've, I've barely touched the program for the most part. But I'll let you know if, if, if that's not true while we're going along. Okay, so this is a new fresh version of Vox Commando that's loading. Um, it, it, this is the one, this is the XPMC. No, this one. is the blank configuration it's blank. that we used. So, so there are no pre plugins installed currently? Mm. Well, you can click on the plugins tab to see what's. It's yet, so there's nothing there. No plugins have been installed yet. The first thing I like to do is turn it off so that it's not listening to everything we're saying while we're trying to edit. Okay. okay. Oh, wait, it's on standby. So why did that happen? I don't know. Try again. Okay. So red, red means no. What happened was it heard us saying "Don't listen" just as just as you were clicking the off button. <laughs> oh yeah, so it right, activated right that here. command. Okay, um, so what do we want to do for? Do we want to install a plugin or just? Did you want to do a web? Okay. Open a web page. Right. So let's say I wanted to um, just open webmail, open Gmail, Gmail in my web browser. Okay. So I I need to create a new command for that basically. Yeah, yeah, so you know that you need to go to edit. Yeah, so to create a new command, I already happen to know that I need to go to edit to create a new command. And these are the default commands that are already installed in this very basic version of Vox Commando. Yeah, this is the configuration that was called basic or something. Okay. So it does have some launch commands in there already. So. A group called launch. Oh, okay. So what's in here? It actually has Google already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of confounds our plans or what? Well, so we can open something else instead. We could use this as a... We well, could modify that command to open up the Vox Commando website. So. But first, let me just say, so this is an open Google command. Um, and so this is a phrase, open... This is... You would have to say open Google, and that would open a browser that has Google search in it. That's what this is? Yeah, so that's the phrase that triggers the command. Okay. And then to edit... We, we can leave it uh, as a mystery and make our own. Okay. So we'll just leave this and so create we'll another... Create a new command. Um, but might as well do it within launch because... Yeah, sure. Because it's going to be a similar command. So I won't create a new group, but I'll just add a new command within this launch group. Yeah. Um, is that one way... Because I could have also... Could I have also copied one of these and changed some of the parameters or something? You could, but we're going to... We're going to do it from scratch. Do it from scratch. And let's call this one open email instead. So I'll call it open email. And then, um, okay, so this allows me to edit this command. Yeah, so to click. The, the, edit the actual actions of what it does okay. by clicking in there. So I'm going to click here, and then I have options for what this command will do. So I'm going to assume that I have to start with some kind of action that this command will activate. Um, So I click on the pen and this gives me... Magic wand. That's a pen. <laughs> it's a magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I made if, that icon myself. Okay, so this is one thing you can know about me if we ever do future videos. I, I don't understand uh, icons or graphics at all. I'm very word-oriented. So this may happen more than once that I don't understand little graphics and what they mean. Okay, so uh, this is a bunch of core actions that I can choose from. Um, and I want to do something with email. Now you'll notice there's also a plugin actions tab there, but if you, it's oh. empty because we haven't installed any plugins. Okay. Anyways, so let's move it on here. Um, so I want to open my email, which will be in like Gmail in a browser. So there's Gmail. Are there other options for what I what I? Well, this we want to use launch in this case. Oh, okay. Uh, the Gmail, uh, those actions, if you open them up. Gmail or launch? Yeah, if you look there. Uh -huh. Those are sort of some actions that give you um, a, a bit of data about whether you have new mail or not. 
but what we want to do here is actually open a web browser. Right. So, so, so if I were to, these are sort of like if I if I didn't have Gmail open, but I wanted to know uh, if new email were coming in, I could ask, "Do I have new email?" Yes, yeah, so you could use get, get count to find out how many unread emails you have. Okay, without actually having the browser open or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, but I want to launch uh, my browser, so I'll go here. Yeah. All right. So the launch. Oh, hidden. So I. If I roll over, I can see sort of what each one does here. Yeah, or you can select it and then you get a full description down here. the bottom right. Okay. So hidden would be if you wanted to run a, a batch file or something and you didn't want a window to pop up. Uh -huh. you, you might use that to do a number of things with a... Maybe if you had a command line utility that set your volume, you would use hidden. So for it's that. happening in the background and you don't actually yeah. see what's going on. But I want to open a file, I guess. Or, the, or an URL. You want to. Yeah, it's URL. easier to use open URL. To go to my, because I want to open Gmail within the browser. Yeah, but that'll use your default browser. Uh -huh. If you wanted to force it to use Internet Explorer, even though your default browser was something else, mm -hmm. then you would actually use the raw param one, where you give the name of the program, so you would give Internet Explorer. Should we do this one? Uh, sure. Okay. So I'll double click it. Is that so? You said that doesn't always work. It works for me. You, yeah, on mine, I, I had to click, click select. To, yeah. So the for yours, you have to go select. select. There, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I just close this? Yeah. Okay. So raw param, and so I have one required. I have to put something in here. Yeah. yeah. So it's the path to the application. Okay. So. So you're gonna want to put in something like c colon backslash. So well, let's say I would I don't exactly know where so I would go. Yeah, you would go to your. It's uh, gonna be somewhere wherever Internet Explorer is. <laughs> if we want to do Internet Explorer, well, probably the program files, Internet Explorer. Uh huh. And then I gotta find my IXE dude. Yeah. yeah. What I do here normally is I would add a backslash. Here. Yeah. What is and it? And then the I. Well, it's just a way to get the path so you can copy it. Uh -huh. Oops. Yeah. Failure. Don't cool. do what I just did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but now you can just select the path. Oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll show you a better way to do it. Close this. Wait, no, that's good. It's Control C. Anyways, yeah, people, people oh, can figure this EXE? out on their own. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Right. <laughs> I didn't see the EXE at the end. <laughs> Okay. So you copied it? Yeah. Okay, then we'll paste that in. Yeah. If you see, it's it's all here. Okay. And, and then, so now the parameter is going to be uh, the URL in this case. That's oh, the way okay. That, so the I way can. That a browser program works. So I can put in yeah. the actual URL for Gmail or whatever it is. I yeah, hopefully. I don't know if that's actually right, but we'll, we'll yeah. find out. So now you don't have to use the voice command to test it. Uh huh. You can just click save and execute. Okay, looks pretty good. So I'm not I'm not logged in here, which is why yeah, I'm on the screen. But it, but, it, right it, but it worked. Address. Yeah. Uh, is that and it's actually using Internet Explorer, right? Yeah. That's, that? Yeah, it's an Internet Explorer. So don't don't bother to log in. Cl um, close it. Now leave this command there, uh -huh. but temporarily disable it. Uh, so there's uh, on the on the right, there's a number one. Sorry, the actual action. Uh huh. Yeah, change that to a zero. That is the number of times to execute this action. Okay. So we can temporarily disable it in order to uh, mess around with it. the other option. We're going to use launch URL instead. Okay. So you can add add another action. And this time, by the way, if, if you don't want to use the magic wand, uh -huh. cancel. You know that you're using launch, right? Uh -huh. You can type oh, launch. Oh, I start typing. And oh, it cool. gives you the autocomplete. So that's what I would do open URL this time? Yeah. And so now it just takes one parameter. Which is the, the URL. Yeah. Well, whatever, I'll just copy this. And so I don't know what your, what's your default browser? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's Firefox. Okay. But no, we just changed it to Gmail, uh, to Chrome. We did? Oh, yeah, recently. Let's see. Anyways, we'll find out. No, see, it's still Firefox. Didn't, oh, I got the URL wrong here, I guess. Let's see. What'd I do? Because I did. I'm not sure. 
uh, it's something to do. Just take the HTTP off, and maybe the the way that the URL thing works. Yeah, so you don't need the HTTP. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll find out. Ta-da! Problem solving with James. Okay. So close. Uh, it's possible that I add the HTTP automatically. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, so it works without here. Um, so what what do we want to do now? Uh, well, I mean, if I log in, I'm on, obviously it's going to go directly to. Yeah, we and know. that's not something to do within. But I want to create a voice command. I mean, a phrase. I you guess you want to make it do something. All right. Yeah. Let's open instead the Vox Commando form. Okay. Uh, And now you can delete the other launch raw param. And you can save this. Uh, by and You don't want to execute it, just click OK. Yeah. OK. Uh, so you're halfway there. But I had to open email, which is not a very... I'm just going to change the name of this mm -hmm. to open forum. Yeah. OK. Now how does it know when to execute this? I have to create a command, a voice command, or it, Are we doing this on an event? You want to give it a, a phrase that uh -huh. is a phrase that you will speak. Okay, so to trigger the command. So to create a trigger, um, there's this. What is what is that's the magic wand? <laughs> so what, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pen and paper. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's I have just, different it's options. The written word <laughs> <laughs> for ways to ways of triggering this. Uh, this action. So the most uh, basic one is just a is phrase. a phrase, and this is super easy. So actually, oh, it, by default, because I called it that, is, so yeah. that can become one of the phrases. But I could also say something else, a like comma, and put in another phrase, right? Yeah. So uh, show me the forum, something like that. It's fine. Yeah. Um, do I need to do? Do I need to save now to do that, or yeah, for it to activate? Yeah, you'll save, and then when you close the window, it'll actually, then it will update. Okay. Is that right? I think that worked? Um, it didn't seem to update anything. No. Uh, let me just look and see what happened with that command. Open forum. Looks right. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyways, do you think I better do a quick Try restart? Quick restart. So as you guys can see, I, I do know a little bit <laughs> of uh, different things I can do. What's in the menus? All right, so let's try. It did rebuild the. It, it did rebuild the group launch. Oh yeah. Okay. So hopefully that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to green, so it's listening. Yeah. Open forum. Let's hope that URL was right. It's taking Let's hope a while. The forum is working. <laughs> it's not showing the URL yet. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! So that worked. It's just that my internet took a while to load the page as all, well. but it worked fine. Good. Okay, should we end this now, or do you want to? Sure. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>